So, Governor Yaya Bilu is part of them. Well, he has his own point where he's saying that Nigeria will never break up. Nobody is praying for the breaking of Nigeria. But as it is now, we do not know what can change the minds of the Biafrans or what can change the minds of the Odudu-as as it, as it were. Because everybody's mind has been made up, all of them have made up their mind. They have no, they have no choice. They have no opinion than to, uh, than to restructure Nigeria, seeking for Nigeria to be restructured, and that is the only solution to the problem. But on the contrary, Governor Yaya Bilo has come up with his own idea. Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has advocated dialogue as a tool to resolving the agitation for Nigeria breaking up. Bello made this re- made this uh, reply remark rather, emphasizing on the need for Nigeria's unity. He also called for dialogue as a way to resolving all forms of agitations. The governor spoke in Uma here, Abia State, when he paid a courtesy visit to Governor Ikeze, Okeze Ikeazu and was confirmed in a statement by the Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Onogwa Mohammed, NAN report. Milo expressed hope that Nigeria will never break up irrespective of flaws by some people to stir problems using religious and ethnic divides. We can have differences, skirmishes here and there, which by the grace of God, we shall overcome them. And Nigeria will remain together, Bill said. He also recommended, recommended Ipiazu for the warm reception offered to him and his encouraged saying the Abia governor had been a very good friend. He said that even though he was not of the same party, region, and faith with God, with Governor Ikuazu rather, that they had continued to enjoy mutual friendship and cordiality over the years, saying that should be the right spirit all Nigerians must imbibe. We in Kogi look at everyone as a Nigerian first, before we talk about where you come from or even our region. How true is it? Can a Kogite actually uh, confirm this? Okay, do tongues may differ. But we are one in Kogi. We don't emphasize on what divides us, but we emphasize more on what unites us. Wow, that's good. Hope everybody will be. I would love to be in Kogi State. I want each and every one of us to continue to preach peace, unity, and togetherness. Yes, some section of this country may be agitated due to one thing or the other, but it is only on round tables such agitation can be best resolved. I call on all my brothers that feel aggrieved about the state of this country to sit on the table and pass through the proper channels to resolve them, Belo said. Well, well. He has said it all. At least he did not say, let there be war. He's still preaching peace. And that, that is it. And that's the spirit. And that is what everybody should imbibe. Really. Nobody should encourage, uh, you know, war. And what have you in the country. It is not the best way. He said the best thing to do for Nigerians to do is to uh, sit on the right t- round table resolve all the issues and uh, what have you whatever is happening can be resolved on the round table and you know uh uh 
integration you know this integration is not the way out governor yayabelo has made his point but will he it actually go down well with nigerians with the beer france with uh the Ududu as as the case may be will it actually go down well with them is this what they actually want to hear from the governor well can we say he's not in their shoes to know what they feel or where the shoe pinches well, he has said his own. He said that in Kogi stage, they do not consider uh, whether uh, or they consider that all of us, everybody is a Nigerian and that uh, nobody considered him or herself first, but they consider that they are Nigerian. He said that though tongues may differ, but we are one. In Kogi, we don't emphasize on what divides us but we emphasize more on what unites us well that means kogi state is a very peaceful state but there has been reports that the governor is actually not doing well in kogi state like payment of salaries and uh you know entitlement to workers and look at what he has come up to say that resolving the issues in nigeria everybody that is aggrieved about the state of this country you should sit on the right round table what is sitting on the round table is not the solution well let's see hear what people have to say on this new story and we should know how they feel on what said. this is advice very good is it good enough the governor this is coming from my chuku the governor is always funny this governor is always funny he used the word will never break up in the midst of ethnic religious suspicion north and south this dichotomy nepotism agitation all over the country did all savage junior sudan indian not break up good leadership and fragmented nation from nigeria very soon in below's own eyes okay yes this one has said its own that uh it is possible you should not say it will never happen yes it is a good thing it's a good thing it's not as if uh, it's as a result of uh, the conflicts or what have you nigeria can actually break up it can actually break up yes nigeria is old enough to do bits and that is what some people have been saying it is possible and uh, the only advice some people are seeing the only way out some people are seeing now is for nigeria to just divide and that is the solution another person said below you are simply playing politics the only thing that will save nigeria is to restructure the country into a confederation under a new constitution by the federation by the federating unit okay that's the higher below is playing politics can we conclusively say that because he went uh to another state to make this uh known will it actually go down well with the people of abia state the disturbed among the ethnic na nationalists since 2015 has become so dangerous that if care is not taken break up is inevitable breaking up of nigeria might be inevitable as it is now as it is now we can actually see that owing to what is going on in the country it has affected so many things on uh, in the country and uh, was a solution what is the solution let's know what your takes are on this new story or what your Bilu has to say on nigeria to whether restructure or not thank you and i will see you on the news bye for now